Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 87 rated Man of the Match Di Maria. So this card cost me around 150,000 coins, and personally, I do feel like this card will drop um, to around the 120,000 coin mark very soon, especially when, you know, Foot Champs rewards come out and Squad Battle rewards are out. So I wouldn't recommend to pick this guy up right now, I'd recommend to wait a few more days. So looking at some of his in-game stats there, as you can see, he's got 88 acceleration. 89 sprint speed, um, really good dark green stats around, along the shooting, passing and dribbling category. Now let's get into the highlights. So now moving on to Di Maria's pros and cons, the first pro I could found with this card was his agility. Now this guy has 96 agility, what is also his key stat, um, one of the most agile players on FIFA 18 and I th definitely think this is one of the reasons why this guy is so good for scheming with, um, just because you know having high agility enables him to perform skill moves so so quickly, um, as you can see he's just so smooth and so clean when performing the skill moves. Um, one thing I did notice a bit though was he was a bit inconsistent when performing the skill moves, um, especially like the ball roll step over combos. He can perform them, what's really good, but um, he's not exactly the most consistent playing player um, at performing the combos. So after that, the next pro I could find with this card was his dribbling, and as you can just probably tell from the clip, this guy's dribbling is, I want to say, the biggest selling point of this card. Um, if not that, it's going to be this guy's shooting um, from outside the box. He has really good long shots. I didn't actually have enough room, though, to fit it onto um, the pro section um, on the screen. So moving on to the final pro that I could find with this card, and this was his crossing. Now, this guy's crossing is absolutely insane. One of the best crossers on the game. Um, if you do use, like, a target man striker, um, like, you know, Jonas, players like that, this guy will be the perfect player to assist him. Um... You know, his crossing is really good on the wing, can just run down the wing using his pace, and then his crosses is so accurate, um, and just, you know, the um, accuracy on them is just absolutely insane. And then moving on to the cons, now the first con I could find on this card was his strength. This guy is really weak, so we'll get pushed off the ball quite a lot, um, so that's one thing you will have to look out for. And then probably the biggest con with this card, and that is this guy's weak foot. He has a two-star weak foot, and you can definitely tell that in-game. Like, this guy's weak foot is like a potato, it's just so bad, he cannot do anything on it, basically. Um, you will also realize this a lot when he's dribbling with the ball. So guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So to start off the overview, we're going to see if this guy is a good value for coins. Now I gave him a 6 out of 10, just because I feel like um, there is a lot of players who could have much better stats and also have the 5 star skill moves um, who, who are much cheaper, you know, and play the same position as him. So. Um, and again, I do think he's a bit overpriced, you know, 150,000 coins, um, he is Di Maria, plays for a good club, has a decent nationality, but I just think he's a little bit too expensive still. Um, so as I said at the start of the video, I'd definitely wait for this guy to drop down in price a bit. Enjoyment-wise, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, a really fun card to use overall. Um, Competitiveness-wise, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10, and the main reason is just because of that 2-star weak foot. Um, you know, you can basically do nothing on it, and it's really important to have at least a 4-star or a 5-star weak foot on your forward players in FIFA 18. And then moving on to scaling, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. As I've already said, a really, really good skiller overall. Um, just a bit inconsistent at performing skill moves. So overall, I'm going to give this guy a solid 8 out of 10. So this has been the player review. If you have enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.